Good morning. Good morning. Today is the feast day of the Most Holy Trinity. Let us offer this Holy Eucharist for all our intentions. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Let us prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Eucharist. Let us call to mind our sinfulness and let us be sorry for them. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. 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 Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, Let us pray. God, our Father, who by sending into the world the word of truth and the spirit of sanctification, made known to the human race your wondrous mystery, grant us, we pray, that in professing the true faith, we may acknowledge the Trinity of eternal glory and adore your unity, powerful in majesty. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. Early in the morning, Moses went up to Mount Sinai, as the Lord had commanded him, taking along the two stone tablets. Having come down in a cloud, the Lord stood with Moses there and proclaimed his name, Lord. Thus the Lord passed before him and cried out, The Lord, the Lord, a merciful and gracious God, slow to anger and rich in kindness and fidelity. Moses at once bowed down to the ground in worship, then he said, If I find favor with you, O Lord, do come along in our company. This is indeed a stiff-necked people, yet pardon our wickedness and sins, and receive us as your own. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks, be, to Thanks God. be to God. Glory and praise forever. Glory and praise forever. 
Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. And blessed is your holy and glorious name, praiseworthy and exalted above all for all ages. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you in the temple of your holy glory, praiseworthy and glorious above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you on the throne of your kingdom, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you who look into the depths from your throne upon the cherubim, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, rejoice. Mend your ways, encourage one another, agree with one another, live in peace, and the God of love and peace will be with you. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All the holy ones greet you. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be, Thanks to, God. be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, to God who is who was and who is to come. reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to you, Lord. Lord. God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. Whoever believes in him will not be condemned, but whoever does not believe has already been condemned, because he has not believed in the name of the only Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to, you, to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ.
So today is the feast day of the Most Holy Trinity. This is the central mystery of our faith. And uh, in the past, whenever I use the word mystery, it's not a mystery to be solved, but it just means that uh, we, we recognize the immensity of the existence of God that we only know a little of it. And, and so we recognize that we don't know a lot of God, but we know him as he revealed to us. And that's why it, it's not a, the Trinity is not a mystery to be solved, but we experience the most holy Trinity in those three moments that he revealed to us. And so it's an experience. It's a, uh, an experience of the Father, experience of the Son, and an experience of the Holy Spirit. Three persons in one God. That's what we believe, and that's what we are taught in our catechism. And so as we... Uh, as we try to understand Jesus, we, and of course, Jesus was trying to teach us about the Father. And so he would, he would always refer us back to the Old Testament and how the Father, and of course, in the Old Testament, we, uh, we experience the Father as the one who created the world that he loved the world so much that he created the world and he, he saw his creation as good. And, and we see the good according to, his, to the image and likeness of God. And of course, uh, we experience the Son, Jesus, in his redeeming action as he uh, died for us, as he suffered and die for us, for our salvation. And again, we experience the Holy Spirit in, uh, in his enriching and energizing presence uh, in so many ways, in so many uh, uh, instrumentalists, uh, including ourselves. The Holy Spirit uh, can work through persons and events and through creation. And uh, as, as uh, the Holy Spirit is always in unity with the Father and the Son, and, and as the Son is always in union or in unity with, with the Holy Spirit and the Father, and the Father with the Son and Holy Spirit. And so uh, it is an experience of this moment of revelation, the revelation of God to us. And Again, it is not a mystery to be solved, but it is a, an experience. We experience of the Father's, according to the first reading, we see there that the Father is merciful. Yes, he can be angry. He can be angry with our unfaithfulness. But was he going to condemn us with his anger? No. You know, he is full of mercy and, and, uh, and fidelity to us. And so, uh, in the first reading, we saw that uh, the Father changed his mind because of his great love for us. In uh, our experience of Jesus, again, we experience love and forgiveness in Jesus embracing the cross in Jesus' offering of his love. And that's uh, the, the very experience that we, uh, we receive from the Redeemer. And again, the Holy Spirit, we experience the same. We experience love. We experience joy. Sometimes, or most of the time, we will say, I can't explain it, but I just feel calmness and deep peace and joy in my heart. 
because of the presence of God through the Holy Spirit. And so these are the moments of our experience, our experiences of God through his revelation. And, and he revealed to us, again, because he loves us. He revealed to us because he is, uh, you know, he is full of joy. And the second, the second reason, the very reason why God revealed himself to us in those three moments is that he wants us to share in his life. He wants us to share in his life. That's why in the gospel, it is very important to, to, to pay attention to what Jesus said, for those who believe, if you believe, you will have eternal life. That's very important. Our faith in God. Because God is inviting us to his life. You know, I always mention a picture, a painting, whenever I uh, talk about uh, or share or my reflections about the Holy Trinity, about the picture of Rembrandt, about the three persons of God, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, on a table. And there's an empty space in front of those three persons. And that space is for us so that we will share in their life. Now, if we want to seek love, perfect love, if we are seeking for peace, if we are seeking for equality, then let us, uh, let us be in that life. Let us share God's life because in God's life, it's there that we will definitely find true peace and true love and true joy. And so as we celebrate this Feast of the Holy Trinity, we are reminded of a faithful God who, who promised of his presence and made Made, uh, made good with his promise. He is present with us and he will always be with us till the end of time. And of course, he is inviting us to be with him in glory. So let us be strong in our faith in God. Let us all stand, let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We confidently present our petitions before our faithful God who hears our concerns. For vocations to all the ministries of the church, priesthood, religious life, lay, and the diaconate, and especially for our new deacon, Bill Adsit, who was ordained this weekend, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our country and church, that we may cultivate welcome, 
extend hospitality, and encourage participation of people of all cultures, ethnicities, and backgrounds. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For healthcare workers and all who put their lives at risk caring for those suffering from COVID-19, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all who are married, that their union will continue to reflect the love that abounds in the Holy Trinity. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all those whose names are written in our book of prayer intentions, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the sick, may they find healing through the power of the risen Christ, especially Elaine Metzger, Jim Bowersox, Joseph Farrell, Manalita Samoy, Ed Mendoza, Patrick Allen, Jillian Oberiano, and for all who suffer from COVID-19. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all those who have died, particularly those who have died alone, unloved, and unmourned, we pray especially for Antonio Granalda and for Jimmy Limcoliok and Chris Beauharnois, whose one-year death anniversaries we remember this week. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. God of kindness and truth, listen to your people as we celebrate this solemnity in your name. Bring peace into our world, our homes, and our hearts. We ask this in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, through the power of the Holy Spirit, you are one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice, sacrifice at your hands for the praise, for the praise and, and glory of his name, for our, our good, good and the good of all, all his holy, holy church. church. Sanctify by the invocation of your name, we pray, O Lord our God, this oblation of our service, and by it make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit, spirit, lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, you are one God, one Lord, not in the unity not in the unity of a single person, but in a trinity 
of one substance. For what you have revealed to us of your glory, we believe equally of your Son and of the Holy Spirit, so that in the confessing of the true and eternal Godhead, you might be, ado be adored in what is proper to each person, their unity in substance and their equality in majesty. For this is praised by angels and archangels, cherubim too and seraphim, who never cease to cry out each day as with one voice they acclaim. By sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many. For the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith When we eat this bread and drink this cup, Proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and a chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Robert, our Bishop, John and Ramon, our auxiliary bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, 
in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever. At a Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that you should enter, enter into my roof, but only say, say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. battle. Be our, our defense against, against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Let us pray. May receiving the sacrament, O Lord our God, bring us health of body and soul, as we confess your eternal Holy Trinity in undivided unity, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, and your, with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Let us glorify the Lord with our lives. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Thank you.